my name is Tony DeSanza, and I will be soloist on Michael Udow's Ancient Echoes with the Longmont Symphony Orchestra. I'm here today to show you some of the instruments that will be used in this unique concerto. We can start with the Chinese cloud gongs, which are here. Uh, these uh, instruments are used in traditional Chinese music, usually of mixed instrumentation. And what's kind of unique about them is the size of the instrument does not determine the pitch, but instead the thickness. So the low ones are a little bit thinner than the higher ones. Michael likes to use these cloud gongs in conversation with the granite lithophone, this brand new instrument he built, which will be stationed right below the um, Chinese cloud gongs. From there, we can go up to the German Almglocken. These are basically tuned cowbells. Uh, they have lovely sustaining sound. Michael likes to use these both as straight up instruments for melody, but also as a drone for other instruments to play melodies on top of. These are Japanese dobachi. Uh, they are bowl gongs, essentially, and they're often used in Buddhist uh, ritual for uh, prayer and meditation. They sound like this. Michael uses these to accompany as a subtle accompaniment to an alto flute solo in the middle of the concerto. Then we can go over to the Indonesian Anklong. These are tuned bamboo tubes. There are three per Anklong rack, which means there are three different octaves of each pitch represented. Usually in Indonesia, these are played with many people and each person plays one bar, sort of like handbells, where then they simply play their notes of the melody at the appropriate time. We have them put on a rack here, and Michael likes to use these in combination with other instruments, especially warm sounding instruments, uh, to create a really unique combination of timbre. They sound like this. This is a Middle Eastern goblet drum uh, called Darabuka or Doombek. It also goes by a number of other names depending on the language you're speaking. Um, it's one of the most popular drums used throughout the Middle East and it's used in their classical as well as popular musics. Um, because it's played directly with the hands, there's a lot of opportunities for different sounds. All kinds of different timbres available to us on this drum. Michael allows me to improvise on this drum during the concerto, so he gives me a sketch of the rhythmic material he wants, but because the instrument by its nature is an improvisational instrument, he is used as such in the concerto as well. The Japanese uchiwa daiko are these instruments here. Um, uchiwa daiko translates to fan drum, more or less. Um, and they're used in traditional Japanese music. For Michael's composition, he uses them very melodically and allows the soloist to improvise a little bit. They sound like this. Which takes us to our final drum, the largest of them, which is the Japanese odaiko. Odaiko essentially translates to large drum. It's a very powerful instrument, also used in a lot of traditional Japanese music. Michael likes to use it in conversation with the orchestra, with the biggest point of that being at the climax and end of the composition. The drum sounds like this. Hope you enjoyed our little tour through the instruments of Michael Yudao's Ancient Echoes.